The primary charge rollers, PCR, are used in many printers and copiers. They are multi-layered rubber roller, with conductive properties to be charged easily and evenly by the applied voltage. You can find it above the drum. It erases the charge of the last printed image from the drum surface. Then, it applies an uniform negative DC bias voltage. The laser writes the images on the drum, discharging the areas that will receive the toner. The toner is attracted to the discharged areas of the OPC only, and is repelled by the charged regions of the drum. Background can arise if a defective PCR do not charge up the drum sufficiently to repel all toner. Some unwanted toner may get onto the white area, and produces the so-called background in a print. The mechanism of the charging process is ionization of air in the gap between the PCR and the drum. These charges will jump over to the drum. Because of this ionization process, PCR performances are highly sensitive to humidity, particularly a low humidity. The resistance of the PCR is important. If the PCR surface electrical resistance is too high, the voltage drop across the PCR increases, thus lowering the voltage difference across the air gap, and reducing the ionization and the charge level on the drum. It may result in undercharging, or non-uniform charging, of the drum and background. If the PCR resistance is too low, the maximum current through the PCR and the air gap is not limited. It may lead to arcing to the drum, an electrical discharge into the surface of the drum, in an area with imperfections or dots, where there is not the protective layer that isolates the aluminium substrate of the drum. So, a black line will develop across the printed page, due to excessive loading of the PCR power supply. Defects, like dots or lines, in the PCR surface will repeat on the printed page, at the same distance of the circumference of the roller. To test a PCR, the simple resistance measurements, by applying a small voltage and measuring the current, is not appropriate because during its work, the PCR is subjected to high voltage levels, including an AC component. The PCR has both an AC and DC charge. The DC charge prepares the drum to receive the image from the laser, and the toner from the developer roller. The AC charge removes the latent image from the drum during rotation. Another problem associated with PCR is ghosting. If the charge roller has difficulty in discharging up a drum sufficiently, the drum surface will not completely discharged, and the toner will be attracted into unwanted areas of the previous job, creating the ghost image. Some laser printers, instead of the charge roller, have a high current wire, the corona wire, above the drum. They produce a very even charge on the drum but using a high power voltage supply, and heavy ozone emissions. Clean the charge roller with neutral soap and water. Then, wipe the roller with water. Let the roller dry, before to reinstall into the cartridge. Note that the PCR can be one of the noisiest components within a cartridge.